I spent the last six or seven weeks of my life reading and optimizing the entire Mario 64 source code. And after that, I went and I used my optimized engine to make a new ROM hack to shake all the new features and have it run on real N64. Everything you see here, it runs at a perfect frame rate. You can even turn on 60 FPS mode on an N64, though it's not gonna be the perfect frame rate, which means it's gonna look a bit stuttery compared to 30 FPS. But you can still do it just to see the prowess of the engine. This hack here has 25 stars. It's all about the freedom to move wherever you want. I'm gonna play through it right now for you guys. But if you wanna experience it all for yourself, I recommend you quit the video here, you patch the ROM and you play it yourself, and then you come back and tell me what you think. <clears throat> so, let's talk to Peach first so you can get the story of this. Mario, you large. You really got wasted and used up all my money to order pizza and pasta. You're in debt, little man. You owe me at least 25 stars. Bust off and work. So very straight to the point. Just a little bit of an introduction and the game gets going. So the stars in this are all fairly simple. For example, right here, we already get the first star for just killing the Goombas. Very simple. And the stars, they don't get much more complex than this, but it's still gonna be like fun to move around, I hope. That's the idea with this game. Fun through just schmoving. So obviously I know where all the stars are, which means I'm not gonna do a lot of extra work to get everywhere, but if you wanna see everything, you can still watch this video because I have to go everything. I have to go everywhere to get every star. Let's actually go here first. Um, if you watched my Return to Yoshi's Island 64 videos, you will know that they all have these 8-bit pipes, or retro pipes rather, that take you to a retro stage where you experience one of the classic games remade in Mario 64, at least partially. This by the way is already the hardest section in the game, which, yeah, that's why I fell once. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention, if you fall down, it just puts you right back up. So there's really no pressure to perform. You can't die. It's a very simple game. Very just pure, have fun if you want to. Of course, uh, there's the ground pond dive and there is the ground pond triple jump thing where you jump really high after ground pond like this. Just because I think they make the movement a bit more fun. It has all the physics improvements and well I guess I also want feedback on that. That's also part of the reason why I released this because having a lot of people play my game that will help me get a lot of feedback very quick. These are cool. I was playing Okami recently, that's where these are inspired from. They uh, kind of look like those dick spots. When I first showed this to someone they thought it was a reference to Odyssey but I'll be honest, I didn't even think about that. But of course, uh, it's very similar to the ones in Odyssey as well. I guess it's kind of like a coincidental double creation. You've already got six stars, so almost a quarter of the way. There's many different ways you can approach all these challenges. There's really like no set way to do it. There's always at least three or four ways to get a star. You just, you are allowed to be creative with your platforming, pretty much. Here's another 8-bit pipe over there, which is already the last one. But I wanna get this star first. Oh no. Well, that's not really a problem, because I can just do this. Yeah. If you master the physics of this, you can really just move however you want. That makes it very fun. You can also see my new coins here. Oh, I love them. Of course, the music up in the clouds is a bit different than it is on the floor. We need that for the feeling. Again, if you fall down here, you're just gonna be put back, so... No fear, just go for it. This probably also really helps people just get better at Mario 64 movement, because there's like no way they would feel. I guess they can just, you know, do whatever they want. They don't have to fear anything. 
Let's get the star over there. Oh, that's fall damage. Whoops. And the music should switch back. That star is just gonna explain to you that you can do a ground pound dive, which is this one. Because without the ground pound dive, that star is possible, but it's really difficult. You can actually do this whole game without the ground pound dive. So even if somehow someone didn't find out about it, or if there was some sort of Mario 64 purist that wanted to experience this without the ground pound dive, you can go for that. Cute little birdies. Another improvement, the camera after star cutscene, it always focuses the star. And Mario 64 just kind of a random turn and it's very disorienting if you're just playing a ROM hack. So a friend of mine already did a speedrun of this. He took 16 minutes to beat it all, so I'm curious how long I will take. I'm expecting somewhere around 20 minutes. Because the speedrun and me just playing through it honestly is very similar. <laughs> So there's also a fun challenge here, which is kind of like a scavenger hunt. I want to do that one. Which, of course, in a speedrun you wouldn't have to do the full scavenger hunt, you could just go to the end. But here, you get little hints. Yar matey! There's a treasure map hidden on my ghostly ship. Would you like to find it? Check the tip of my ship. So, we ground hunt the tip of the ghost ship, and then we get the next hint. I think that's a... It's a very bare bones concept. But that's pretty much what Mario 64 is about. Get a little hint, and go for it, and... Yeah, I think that that mission is probably my favorite. Just like conceptually, because it's so simple, but so effective. I should get a few of those coins, because there's also one on coin star. But uh, we, we really don't have to crunch them. This is also probably one of the most complex missions in this game. Which doesn't say much, because this game is not complex at all. It's just a sign telling us... Follow my lead. Blue, pink, purple, orange, red, green, yellow. And don't leave the hexagons, which... Uh, of course I have to order memorize, because I programmed this. Also possible without the grave ground pond. Just wanna say that. And there we go. Another star. That is 14. Let's go over to the playground. You can really just go wherever you want at any point. There is nothing to unlock. It's really just do what you feel like. Total freedom. Like I said, that's the idea with this. Oh yeah. We have a little merry-go-round here. And if you turn it, you get a star. Mario go round. I believe this is a game that the better you are at Mario, the more fun you're gonna have with it. <laughs> As you can see, doing a movement like that, it's... Uh, I imagine if you never played this map before, it's gonna feel really cool. Let's go and board Bowser's ship. So I also will upload a real N64 playthrough on my second channel, no commentary, where you can actually see this all run at a decent frame rate on a real N64, just to flex. So if you want to see that, go ahead over to my case clips channel, which I will link in the description, just to validate this all running and to validate my claims of it running on N64. Because I can imagine some people are going to be skeptics, they're going to be like, what? It's gonna be 5 FPS, no way this will work. Alright, let's do the scavenger hunt. What do we have? The smaller flower field. Flower fields were all the way over there. So, 
You can use the cannon too, if you want. It's a for fun mechanic, you never need to use it. I prefer not to use it because the cannon's really slow and shitty. Oh yeah, also, you can hold Z to fall faster. Those things are kind of miserable in the original 64. <laughs> the lowest of the pillars, that's the last one. Obviously, I knew where the star would be from the get-go, but I still want to do the mission, just so you guys can experience it for yourself. There we go. And that's 18. Ah, oh, right, there's one star over there. And there's gonna be some on top of the tree as well. We. Yeah, you couldn't really see that, but you have to crawl through here, which... Oh god, the camera. I probably need to do something about the camera there. At least for the major egg, but that can wait. Yeah, that's 20. So we got one more star over there. If you ever don't know where the next star is, you can just press pause and it will tell you a next stint. So... You will not get lost in this game. Even though it seems like there's some stuff that is very easy to miss, if you just press pause, you can always just see the next stint. So no worry at all. Beach is Castle Flag. Let's go for the Canyon Star next. Actually, you can just jump down from the top, but doing it this way is a bit cooler. Yeah. Like I said, doing it that way is cooler because it's more difficult. There we go. That was cool, I think. 22. Um, 100 coins, yes. Where am I get 100 coins? You know what? We are not gonna get 100 coins because I remember an other star. So we're gonna get that first and then on the way there we're just gonna get some coins. No! So there's actually another way to get up. There's like four or five ways to get up to like the second elevation level. I put in as many as possible just so people could choose how they want to go up. And this is one of them. I made these cannon shots as easy and consistent as possible as well. They take some adjusting so that it's all, you know, doable. But they work. There it is. Yeah, I didn't even show you, but you can use the cloud suit. Let's see, another star I remember. Did I get the one in the birdhouse? I think so. Oh, oh, of course. Right here. Look at this one. And then it's only 100 coins. Considering I've been recording for 13 minutes. I don't know how valid that guy's 60 minutes speedrun is. I'm sorry, but <laughs> maybe he just had a really unlucky rod. Or maybe getting the last eight coins will take me five minutes. No front. There's three more. No, oh, yes. Okay. And then we can go talk to Beach after we've made up for our adept. Hey! We got all the stars. We got all the stars. <laughs> Again. Alright, Peach, please don't be mad at me. At least you paid your debt, but you're still not off the hook. Before I forgive you, you need to go and subscribe to Case and Mania. Wow, Peach, that's very nice of you. Alright, I'll do it. And there we have it. Hope you guys enjoyed this. If you played the game yourself, let me know what you thought of this game. And I'll see you in the next video, where I will explain what I did to fix all of the source code. Bye-bye.